everyone, welcome to the PHP 101 screencast. Do not adjust your sets, do not adjust your phone or whatever you watch this on. I am back! <sighs> um, hopefully in much better quality. I have brought, I have invested in a new rig. Um, camera is shit, because it's an old camera. Uh, I'm going to invest in a new camera, but at the moment I've just invested about £1,000 in a new PC. So hopefully the quality is a lot better than what it has been. So, anyway, let's see how I get on with this, because I'm going to be a bit rusty, <laughs> let's be honest. So, uh, today I am going to do an episode 19. So long since I've done the last one. Hmm. Anyway, in this episode I'm going to do an intro to Composer. What is Composer, you're asking yourself? Composer is a dependency management for PHP projects. Um, it's very good, very powerful, very useful, plain and simple. So, uh, right, let me just uh, move my ugly mug off the screen. There you go. If you wonder why I keep looking off to one side, because I have a screen that now monitors and loads of different screens and stuff. It's amazing. <laughs> New rig. But anyway, Composer. Composer, uh, what you need to know is simply uh, get composer.org. Uh, link will be in a uh, video description if you watch this on YouTube or in the show notes at bhsowebdesign.com um, All your documentation everything you need there. It is awesome. It's powerful. It's wicked um, One of the things it can do is You can put in all the packages you need uh, things like if you want to use doctrine You put in that you require it and then um, when you go to deploy or switch development to another machine, you just go composer.far install and it will install all the dependencies you require. Hence, therefore, making your um, repositories much smaller. Thank God, because repositories are getting a bit on the big side, especially if you're putting something like um, Zen Framework 2 in there. Uh, that is quite on the large size. So, let, first things first, let's get this downloaded. Um, you're going to need to uh, make sure that command prompt is uh, aware of PHP, so put PHP in your paths, uh, which I have already done. One thing I haven't done is gone to where my project folder is, so let me just quickly do that. So C semicolon forward slash wamp forward slash www dot uh, screencast. Okay, so I'm in the right folder now. Look. It didn't take half an hour for it to do it, and I've just closed, minimized everything just to be really annoying to myself, which was clever of me, wasn't it? So, anyway, uh, let me get my browser back up. You have two options of where you can do it. You can install it via curl, or you can install it just by using uh, read file install. At the moment, I am just literally going to do uh, this simple install. So, I'm going to copy that and paste that in and hit enter and let it do its magical thing of going and getting Composer. There we go, Composer's installed, nice and simple. So now with Composer is installed, it will open up NetBeans and you'll see it's put this Composer.far file which you can have a look into, uh, yeah whatever. Yes, let's open it. It's full of stuff and stuff and stuff. You don't need to worry about the inside of this bit. This bit is just what makes Composer work and awesome. All you need to do is create a JSON file. So new, uh, have I got JSON? No, I haven't. Oh dear. Let's just do other file. Have I not got JSON? That's really annoying. Oh, there it is, JSON. Uh, next, and I call that um, composer.json. Composer.json and click finish. And there we go. Nice, simple JSON file. Now we just put in what we want in this JSON array. So um, just for this example, I'm going to get hold of Doctrine ORM, Doctrine Migrations, and Symphony YAML. So we can use that with Doctrine. Okay. Also, I'm going to put in something else, which is pretty cool, which you'll find out in a moment. So um, all we need to do is we just get rid of where it's put that at the top and I do in quotes uh, require so require 
and then open a new JSON array and I'm just going to put that one doctrine uh, doctrine uh, slash ORM and I want you, what ver yeah then you meant to put in what version you want so I'm going to say uh, go for 2.4 point star so what it will do is whenever composer goes to install it will always make sure it gets the holder version 2.4 and in anything after the point of that, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's version 2.4 of Doctrine ORM. Awesome. So that's my Doctrine ORM that I want. Um, then I want Doctrine Migration. So Doctrine uh, for slash migrations. And that I'm going to go for a Dev Master. And then I want Symphony YAML um, because. Doctrine works better with uh, Symphony YAML. So YAML, like so, and I'm gonna have version two point star of that, because why not? So that's all my requires done. Okay, so let's just save that. What I'm also gonna do is, in previous episode, I've shown you PSR autoloader. Yeah. PSR class loader. Composer has one built in. It can generate one for you. It's amazing. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to just create a folder, new folder, and I'm going to call that a uh, project. Okay, so we've got a new folder in there called project. So everything is going to be under that project, all my classes and everything. So I want to be able to get an auto loader to load all that stuff for me. So what I do is after this require array, I just do a comma and then do auto load like so. Open up a new JSON array or a new array, should I say? And I want to use a uh, PSR for standards because standards are cool. And all I'm going to do is say that the module is called uh, project because why not it's good so project and then escape all right and do a backslash it's important but one of the things you have to do is do a double backslash again okay, backslash backslash because you've got to escape out the backslash to stop escaping out the close bracket blah 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 blah, blah. anyway so everything that's going to be under that is going to be in a folder a project so this is telling the autoloader, um, whenever I call project, so use project, all the stuff to do with that will be under the folder project. Awesome. So that's that done. And that's how simple it is to set up Composer. Okay. Now I just go to here and then I just go uh, php composer dot far, not fat and install and that's it this one now go uh, you I'm guessing normally goes to github and gets hold of everything it needs to get so I've told it to go and get hold of doctrine for me uh, it gets all the stuff that doctrine needs all the requirements and everything uh, it'll get hold of doctrine migrations for me and symphony yaml and then also generate a auto load file for me simple as that so yeah, what's the argument? Composer, it's awesome. Use it. Yes, you do need it. There we go. Right, what it's done is, as you see, I'm kind of racing ahead of myself and all over the place because I'm not used to doing this again. But I'll get him back in the swing of this. It's generated this vendor folder. And inside this vendor folder, you'll see there's an autoload.php, which is here. And it will require, it goes up the chain, requires all the stuff it needs. Uh, so in here, there's another auto load, which is called auto load real. And this basically brings in all the stuff like Doctrine and Symphony, YAML, all that stuff. All you need to do is require um, this auto loader um, in your project index file. And that's it then. You are done. If I remember correctly. Let me just double check the docs to make sure I haven't missed something out. Uh, Windows, uh, don't worry about the Windows installer. 
it's stupid. But anyway, uh, documentation, getting started, basic usage, and I don't think I've missed anything. So there we go. Nice, simple, yes. One thing you can do, it's definitely worth actually looking at this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just basically saying to require vendor slash autoload.php in any file that's going to call it and it'll load your autoloader for you uh, with PSR4 compliance. One other command that's useful to remember for it is uh, php composer that far update and basically say 2.4.2 has come out of uh, Doctrine ORM which I don't know if that's already on the version it's on or not but if it did and you had 2.4.1 it will then go and update it also if you add a um, new uh, namespace that you want to put into the autoloader you just add it into this composer.json file and then do php composer not far not fat far update and then i normally type nothing and that will basically go through the process of pretending it needs to update goes oh there's nothing called nothing in here so i don't need to update anything but you know what, i'll regenerate the auto load the psfr auto load file just so uh, everything's there that you may or may not need so there we go nice short swift sweet little podcast for you today yes hello so i am back i am hoping to get some more episodes recorded before too long and yeah get on it get using composer it's a useful thing it's an amazing thing get on it um next episode hopefully won't be too far away um i'm possibly planning if maybe to possibly record it now and release it later we'll wait and see i wonder if it actually I wonder if the image looks so bad because I'm probably, possibly just out of focus. Am I out of focus? Ah, I've already improved it a bit. Well, hey. Uh, yeah. Um, possibly going to do like an introduction to Doctrine. Because uh, Doctrine is useful, but it just there's lots of stuff to learn about it and use it properly and stuff. Uh, I need to get my head around how to teach you to use it. But get on Composer. Get using it. A lot of projects you'll find actually on GitHub um, use Composer now, so um, or has Composer built into it. Um, any questions, you can tweet me uh, or email me. Go to my site, uh, which I'm bringing up now to show, and then go over here. I've got too many screens to try and keep an eye on. This is, could be interesting. So you get to my site, it's majorly out of date, admittedly, I need to really update it. There is a new design being made that I started on a long time ago, and then because of various different things, I never got around to finishing it, but it does kind of look cool if I actually get around to finishing this thing. Um, but in my video section will be the link that you will need to view uh, links to Composer, but Composer has great documentation, it has a list of packages that are available, um, a lot of the time you can guess if package is available and it will just show it up so that's it see you next time and hopefully it will all be fine and dandy and not too long to the next one see ya